welcome to Patriot Laser Engraving. Today we're talking about the eye gauging Easy View DRO Plus. The reason why it's the Plus model is because the display has a little bit larger readout than some of the other models, which is why I like it. The device itself is pretty simple. There is a external plug for power, the USB plug that goes down to the sensor, and then an additional output plug if you're going to be hooking this up to a z-axis so if it, it, this particular model has that capability I believe. Uh, how is it mounted? Well it's simple. <clears throat> the device is mounted to the back to the vertical arm of the scan head right here and I've got it double stick taped to the back piece of this aluminum um, that holds the scan head and then I've got a double stick down here. This is really tight uh, to the to the back. So what I did is I mounted, I left this free, I left this part free floating before I fastened it down here. And then I fastened this first, brought this all the way down, then double sticked it. Of course, I measured up here and I cut it, and then I filed it and rounded the edges a little bit because I didn't want to get in the way of the wheel uh, moving back and forth and. It really doesn't mount up here, it just it stays free float. It doesn't need to be fixed at the top and the bottom. It works just fine in that in that regard. I happen to have a 30 watt Rakus fiber. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the device around and explain a little bit about what this device does. This little $60 item, which is what I paid for it, allows me to have an accurate representation of the distance of my scan head relative to my scan table. Now, a lot of you would say, well, you could just use the ruler that's on the back. Well, the ruler on the back of the device, the back of this, the, the laser, the tower, that's good and everything, but I've found that it's, it's really difficult to have repeatable results, especially if I'm working on a job that uh, I'm going to have my jigs in place and I might be switching in between uh, so different depth pieces. I want to know how to go right back to where those settings are uh, at a quick at a quick notice. So, what I would do here, I lowered the scan head all the way to the bottom till till it bottoms out, and it can't go down any further. And you'll even notice that it's not even at not even at one or zero. So the ruler, in my opinion, is not real. Uh, it's not real accurate. I mean, I'm sure that the distance here represents accurately the distance between here and here. But for that sake where am I at in relation to my piece? So the way I do it is I, I zero, I bring this all the way down and then I zero, I zero my DRO. Now I know it's zeroed. I happen to know that on this particular model that zero for this lens is right at 100. So I'm gonna bring this up to 100. And then I'll know that my scan head is right on with my item on the table. Within a hundredth, that's really not going to much matter. So I don't really play favorites with that so I'm usually okay with that so if I'm within a hundredth of a millimeter I'm, I'm okay with that just move it up and then there we go okay so now my scan head is 100 millimeters from the surface so now I know that if I'm going to if I'm going to take an object and I, and I want to maintain that 100 millimeter focus, let's say this block of steel. Well, how do I know what to do here? Well, it's simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to take a quick caliper reading or a micrometer. And I know that I'm at 19 point, we're going to call it 19.1. And I'm just going to go to 119.1 on my DRO. And by doing that, 
at 119.1, then I know I should have my focus back down to my object again, and I've not lost anything. So it's a really good way to accurately get a precise measurement. Well, why would you want to do that? I mean, why wouldn't you just stick a ruler up against it and say that that's where I'm going to be? Well, the simple fact is sometimes if you're burning an object uh, like stainless steel and you're going to anneal, then you sometimes have to either plus or minus focus your scan head to get the desired result you want. And then that's going to come with anything as you start working with your laser to determine what your settings are. But you will find that you're going to have projects where you're going to be plus or minus focus. I happen to know, let's just hypothetically say, I'm going to be putting a tumbler on my, ro on my rotary and it's stainless steel. Well, I happen to know that I've got a down focus uh, just over five millimeters. So if it were, if this were in this particular situation that was stainless steel and I was going to just put a, uh, an annealment mark on that and I needed to down focus by five millimeters exactly, then I would just take this right here and take it all the way down to 104. Point one. So now I'm, I'm exactly down focused by five millimeters. And so that's what the DRO does for you. It's a really good way to have accurate, repeatable results. And for 60 bucks, gosh, this thing is a, is a steal. I love it. I have found that it goes well with my book of secrets. <laughs> I have uh, all the little secrets that I've recorded in a notebook. I'm sure that each of you have your notebook of little secrets that you've kept. But in mine in particular, I know that I record my DRO settings for items that I know that I want a repeated result for. Rather than having to try to get the ruler out, try to strain my eyes to figure out where I'm at, I could be a millimeter off or two millimeters off and not realize it. The DRO really does change the game. I just mounted mine on the side. My, my column had some, some mountable screw holes and I just put mine inside the top part so that I could see it. It's on an articulating arm. You can move it around however it best suits you. I love it. I think this is one probably one of the the best little mods that you can do to your to your laser and get the, the maximum amount of results. So what I've done is I put a, a link in the description below and with with where you can pick it up on Amazon and uh, I've also put some of the specifications for it. I hope you like it. I hope that it can bring you as much success as it has me and if you have any questions or you'd like to see something different or have something new talked about about your about your fiber laser feel free to give me a, a comment below go easy uh, I'm, I'm just starting out trying to get my videos where they need to be so i hope to be doing some more videos coming soon with some easy cad demos i think you'll like them i've got a few things drawn out on the board so just give me a shout and this is dave with patriot laser engraving and i hope you all stay safe and have a great day